It's an early test of Q action and indeed character for the world champion into the last frame of this particular session and it's Wemble with work to do. He's 34 points behind. Now, what has he spotted? No, too thick. He tried to play that with side to try and find a path back down the table. It was always going to be very difficult. And if the pink goes into the left corner pocket, it's a bit of a chance for John Higgins. And it clearly pots. Just coming around to see where he'd like to leave the cue ball. Because the black's out of commission at the moment. But if he can get the red and the pink, the frame's there for the taking. One. Certainly favoured now to take this final frame of this session. And he looked as if he Seven. was going to lose four in a row. Yeah, he made the 54 in that last frame, was one shot away virtually from making it four in a row. Eight. But he's still right in this opening round match against the defending champion. But it looks as if he's going to be one frame behind. Yes, I think when you're in this situation, you've got to look to the positives, and now yeah, Wembo can look at the positives. I think he can play better, but then I'm sure John Higgins is thinking that, 15. particularly his, uh, his cue ball control has been, a, well, left a little bit to be desired, but if Liang Wembo takes the positives out of that, he'll, he'll come back this evening thinking he's got a chance of causing an upset here. And I wouldn't disagree with him. 21. That little shake of the head though tells you he's thinking, I could have been three or four frames in front here. Yeah, well, this frame looks as though it's gone now. Just looking for red colour red. And the defending champion. 22. Will have that one frame lead going into the session this evening. But he's not played the best positional shot. The feeling he played for the pink there, he's overrun it, he's left with the blue or the green. It's just any colour and one more red. Yeah, the red right next to his hand, to the left of his hand, is what he'd like to finish on. But he's going too far up the table for that one. He didn't want to be leaving one along the cushion here. 25. Tried to leave himself. On that red for the middle pocket. Yeah, he wanted to leave it somewhere near the circle there, but now he's got the difficult one along the cushion. Took a 60 points in front. John Higgins, 25. So he didn't clinch it. So Liang Wenbo still in this frame, although with it all to do, 59 <coughs> remaining. Sorry, 59 behind, 67 remaining. Could he do to John Higgins what John Higgins did to him in the last frame? This would be a clearance. The way the balls are situated. red down and he's got an angle here on the pink to possibly bring those two reds or at least one of them into play he's looking at them he can come off the top cushion okay he's going to be using the rest but he can still he might be able to stretch over and reach it yeah, he's got them both into play pretty good shot that Excellent. 
He's looking at the Seven. scoreboard. He's got points to spare here. He's 52 points behind. There's 59 remaining, so he could, could do it with pinks off the reds. Doesn't necessarily have to play for the black. But this is tricky. Can't afford to miss this. Well, he's took the more difficult red to get it out of the way. And being a left-hander, the ones the other side of the table are not too badly placed for him. Well, it couldn't happen again. You mentioned it, John, but I was with you. This would be some clearance. And John Higgins, wow, well, a little sip of water there. Can't do anything about this. Yes, and off this red, you'd want to be playing for the pink. And once again, another glance at the score, but as I say, pinks, are, pinks are okay, maybe one blue. But, uh, well, you see, now he's up to 90%, the young Wen Bolt. John Higgins is creeping up to that 90% as well, at 88%. This match beginning to take 15. off. Could be one heck of a final session this this evening i think both players have got rid of those crucible collie wobbles as we call them in this first session and now looking as so though they're both starting to find the form could play for two reds here just stun across oh, we'll have to take the one in the middle of the table now he, he would have loved to have played the more difficult one but uh, he's going to have to wait for that. Yeah, but he only has to drop this red in, doesn't he? Dot, uh, dead weight, and being left-handed, of course, he can be a little bit further over for the pink. In an ideal world, he'd love to get the cue ball somewhere near where I've got the other little white ball there. That would be... Absolutely perfect. Can he get it over there? Or is he going to play to move it? Oh, he's jumped at that. Well, the one thing you can't afford yeah, to do to is to miss the pot, and he now needs a snooker. He's 37 points behind, and there's only 35 remaining. Careless. And that will just drop the eyes and cross the T's on this first session. Disappointing. He, he gave himself half a chance there, did Liang Wenbo, but I think we're in for a heck of a final session Seven. this evening. Both players look as though they're just ready to play well. It doesn't matter about the yellow, the handshake will come. So defending champion John Higgins went 3-1 in front. He went 4-3 behind. Looked as though he was going to go 5-3. But he'll be happy to finish the session leading the young man from China by five frames.